Hello everyone and welcome to my Wii Sports review for the Nintendo Wii, of course, judging by the title. So as you can see, Wii Sports comes with tennis, baseball, bowling, golf, boxing, and it also has a training and a fitness mode. So first we'll start off with tetanus, with tennis, not tetanus. Now the nice thing about Wii Sports is you have these pro levels that you can achieve over time by going through and getting your skill level high enough by playing these games inside a single player. Now this is a very accurate representation of tennis. This is essentially how the entire game is. Very accurate representation of the courts. Um, graphics are pretty good. You can see I just did a fireball there, so that's definitely one advantage. I mean, this is one of those games where even though it was the pack and title, everybody should have this game. Even if you buy yourself a Wii Mini, which is Nintendo's miniature version of the Wii, that came out recently with no internet access, of course. I don't know why they didn't do that. But, this is a game that I really think that everybody should buy. I mean, it's great for parties, it's great for having your friends over. It really is not a reason why anybody should never have this game. You know, I'm, I recall my first experiences playing Wii Sports when I was over at my grandfather's house. He had just gotten the Wii, we had unpacked it. Love 15. And we actually started off with bowling. And then we did some golf. Now, some of these games, at least inside of my eyes, for example, golf, take a very long time to complete. They just take way too long. So as you can see, you get to play as your me. Of course, if you don't know what a me is, then you probably shouldn't be watching this video. But just for the sake of explanation, a me is a miniature character that you create on your Nintendo Wii that allows you, inside of certain games, to have a representation of you. Now, keep in mind, this is not no I mean, this is nothing like what I look like. But I, I just picked this one because it was. One of the preset templates, I guess. I don't know exactly why I did this. I did this like two and a half years ago. Advantage front Had this Wii for a pretty long time so far, so I plan on keeping it going for a while. The front team wins. As you can see, everything, even down to the rules of the game, are accurately re represented, as you can just see by my deuce. But now we're up to baseball. Now this one... I mean, actually, I shouldn't say just this one in particular. All these games will make your arms very sore when you start playing them. So, if you want to, if you want to be, I mean, if you want to be tired like me, go ahead and try to get pro level within one night. You won't be able to move your arm when you get up in the morning, but hey, you know, anything for a pro level. So you know, with this game, you use your um, you use your remote to hit the bat. You know, this is one thing that we really specialized in was the motion control. It was really revolutionary in the time when it came out, and this was really the game that showcased it when the Wii came out. What its capabilities were. Now, you can also pitch inside of this game at the beginning of the next, and uh, when it changes sides, assuming you don't get something like 10 or so on um, 10 points or whatever. And as you'll see here, I really suck at baseball. This is really when my arms were, st were starting to get tired, so I was having issues hitting the bat correctly. But, you know, at least this will all end up inside of a home run. Oops, I guess I should have said spoiler alert. You know, you got your curveballs and all that kind of stuff, so it really accurately represents those, those as well. So, you know, you've got your miles per hour accurately represented. Foul ball! Wow, little ball. Now, I know there's a newer version of Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resort, but unfortunately I don't own Motion Plus or Wii Sports Re Resort yet, so I can't really review that. I, mean, I guess I'd go over to my grandpa's house and play that, but i got to find time to go over there and do that, so... That's what's that's what Summer's trying to find in time. Homer! 
Sorry for my completely unnecessary chant there. I just felt I needed that sort of So next we're up to bowling. This game is really awesome. Then again, then it's probably because I'm a bit biased because this is the first one I played. By the way, there's no specific reason why my me is pink. I just now realized that. I think my brother decided to play a prank on me one day and changed my me to to its favorite color of pink. When I absolutely hate the color pink and purple. Both of those, I mean, I don't mean to be offensive to anybody, but those two colors just suck. At least to me they do. And here you can, I mean, you know, you swing your remote to, to bowl the ball. And there's two different options here. You can do either the first, I mean, you can either do the first one which moves it side to side, or another one which tries to keep it side of a straight line. I guess it could be a hook as well. Now, by the end of this, by the time I uploaded this video to YouTube, I had already achieved pro level inside of tennis. That was very tough, actually. But then again, I guess my Wii just decided to be gracious to me and allow me to get pro level before, before things really started to get hard. And I guess you could say bounce off the ceiling. comment there. So next up we've got golf for the I mean golf on Wii Sports. This game really takes a whole lot of patience. Just something I did not really have when videotaping the gameplay for this review. But as you can see you get to hit the I mean use your remote to swing at the swing at the golf ball. One of the things I really found a waste of money actually is Third-party manufacturers actually made golf clubs and all those kind of I mean, golf clubs and other plastic materials for you to use with your Wii Sports. It was really a rip-off because they don't really work all that well. Plus, they break very easily. Ahem, <laughs> my tennis racket. And you know, it keeps, keeps track of your yards and tells you how far you've and what the par is and everything, so that, that's at least nice. Kind of like NES Golf in a way. Hmm. Maybe all these games... Oh, this is Nintendo. All these games are made from their NES counterparts. At least they could be. Oh, well, that's just, uh, I guess that's just an idea. Nice par! And finally, we have Boxing. This game is really fun. This one goes by very fast as well. This is this because I picked... My first time to do this is the one to put on the on the view. So you hold your nunchuck and your remote, and you beat the crap out of the other player. Now inside a two-player, this is especially fun because my grandpa decided to turn around and start I mean, start fake hitting my brother with it, and he said, "This is a whole lot more fun than the boxing game." And as you can see, I'm gonna knock out in no time. Really kind of a letdown. But boxing's pretty cool as well. And now we're up to the ratings. So for a graphics, I give this a four and a half out of five. Gameplay, four and a half out of five. Replay value, five out of five. This is loaded with re with replay value. Audio, four out of five, and overall a three point six out of five. So as a recommendation, I recommend this game to anyone who owns a Nintendo Wii console. Between the sports offering within the game and the use of the Wii remote, very effectively, of course. This game should be owned by anyone who owns a Wii console. Go out and buy it today. It's especially good to play with your friends. Thank you for watching my Wii Sports review. Sure hope you enjoyed it. Well, feel free to feel free to subscribe.